What's up, guys? Welcome. What's going on with this mic? All right, there we go. But anyways, what's up, guys? Welcome to tonight's stream. Give me a second as I post on live on a few platforms. I like this cord. I don't get why this cord can be tangled up on stuff. Damn, I didn't want to do that. Liz, Liz, like you gotta, you gotta relax. That's been posted. Did I post on Twitter? Yup. We good. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this stream. Make sure you're on Twitter, by the way. I no, I got it. I responded. I responded with well, I know people like to pronounce it as GIF, but I'm calling it GIFT. Is that how the game going to look with the sides, like, all cut out like that? No, nah, they're going to have to fix that. They're going to have to fix that. Fix that now. Yeah, it's like, why is switching to some stuff I didn't even switch it to? Okay. Our character, he don't look right. Nah, we got we gonna we gonna start all over. I ain't do anything anyways, so the ghost experience. The ghost experience lets you choose between two different ways to play the PvE version of Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Regular the way the game was released, and immersive, a new way to experience the game. While regular lets you play with weapons and gear of different levels and rarity, immersive mode removes the notion of gear score entirely. The new tactical settings will change the way you play. New HUD settings are also available, allowing you to fine tune your preferred level of information at any point in time. The objective of the ghost experience is to give you total freedom of choice. As such, you can switch Good. between immersive and regular mode. Really? That's stupid. Okay, well, the one... Yeah, I just saw that it didn't send. That's stupid. Well, the one that I... I think the one that I just sent, hopefully that sent. Because if not, I'm like, freaking Twitter is being stupid. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> Let's get into this game. Regular... Immersive, no gear level, no rarity. No, I'm good. Uh, we're gonna put that mess on easy. I should be asleep right now. Same, but I think everybody knows, like, at this time, you know, I'm not gonna be asleep. Can I skip this? There's just too many cutscenes, bro. Is that Stone Cold Steve Austin?
Like, he looks black, but... I don't know. Should I go for, like, the... Because he's, like, a light... He's, like, a... Like, a light mocha. And then this guy is just, like... But he's, like, a... Like, he... This guy looks like he's, like, Asian... Like, am Hold on. Let me customize him. Eye color. No hair, because that's how I'm honestly looking. Dark. Wait, what, what, what is the facial hair? See, he don't like... Let me see how this guy look. Like, I feel like his face should be on his skin complexion, and then, his, then that face should be on that skin complexion. Like, why can I not do that? Shall go to bed, but I'll have. Appreciate that, Liz. It's like shout out to Liz, guys. Even though she on stream on the regular, make sure y'all go follow her. I uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with a medium. Good night, Liz. Have a good night. Sleep well. Should I get my character here? Corn rose. If you got cornrows in 2022, it's like, I'm going to question you. I'm just saying. Why is it like his hairline is, like, what kind of hairline is that? Like, I can't go with that. Nah, we just going to, we just going to be bald. All right. That'd be so scary. I know I use the bathroom on myself. Like I'm like I said no scars, but they're like, nah, your character he gonna have some scars. Gonna have a cut on that cheek and nose, busted lip. Dang. Why is it that, like, I don't get that they, I have, like, I know I have a good graphics card, and for some reason, it just seems like it's not being used. Then when I try to, like, switch to using it, and it's like, they make it mad challenging and difficult to the point, it's like, bruh. So I think if I, like, had to change the resolution and stuff. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Because at some point in time in this game, you're going to reach your breaking point. Let's see if I can change something real quick. It's like I have
Didn't change a whole lot, but. Oh, okay. That's how that works. Bro, he's still just running. It's like... I should just try to take out all these guys, but I mean they did like you know they did throw the first punch, so I should, but nah, I'm a, I'm a wait. I'll catch them lacking.
I am supposed to. I am supposed to be here. So you know besides the trees on fire and burning bodies and helicopters and planes like this this game visually it looks nice Like that man, it seemed like everything I see him in, like he he always he always doing some like some wild stuff. It's like, bro, for those that watch Walking Dead, it's like you know exactly what I'm talking about. What the hell are you doing? Damn, that helicopter flew out fast. I wonder if See, nah, we just gone. I'm just gonna leave it. So I gotta go back and
Better hope to God we kill them all. No way. Last thing you want on this island? It's a pissed off ghost. Oh crap. I that man act like he didn't want to die. It's like, homie, why is you being difficult? What's up, DK? How's the day treating you? Who is this? A friend. I got the radio from a ghost. This ghost still breathing. Ghost lead. If you can chase the white rabbit. Or run with the Red Queen. Give me a sit rep. I can wait. Your man's getting medical treatment. Follow the trail behind the ancient ruins. Your destination is in the mountains between two waterfalls. Day's going good. That's good. That's good. Ghost lead out. Does it have a... Okay, it has a silencer on it. That one has a silencer too. No trains coming. Okay, we good. I'm still I'm gonna steal their car. Wait till they walk on by. V, like I mean come on now. Why is they just standing there casually talking? I should just take them out. Should I do it? No, no, they walk in. Okay. They don't know how close they came. They doing that. I'm be still in their car. Dang, so that means I'm gonna have to like play this game without uh which call a controller. It's gonna be so weird driving this.
I know they're probably look they looked at their car and they say, wait a second. We're all standing here. Who took our car? They probably just looked at they stuff just getting driven off. Man's all like, bro. I I have my hot wings in there from earlier, like. Guys like, you didn't get your hot wings when you was uh um you left the car? It's like, I didn't think nobody was going to steal it. I'll be so mad. I'm like, nah, bro. We got to get my hot wings. Oh, they're dead. Wait, were those? No, nah, those wasn't. Those wasn't friendlies. Dang. I wonder, hold on for a second. No, okay. Just had to make sure, because I was like, bro, if I could use my steering wheel. It's like Another different, one. like an African American Santa, Santa Claus. It's like, what do I look like? You know, just watch how you handle that weapon. You don't allow shooting in Erewhon. And what's Erewhon? A cave. That's what we call it. Get in. I might have to lower the graphics because it's like the game was kind of like looking a little choppy during the cutscene. Gonna head to bed. My stomach hurts real bad. Hopefully, I can stay longer next stream. It's all good, V. Do what you gotta do. Sleep well. Have a good night. Log out. Log back in. I'm actually going to try to give this game a chance. But one thing I definitely need to do is give me a, a better graphics card. Or see how I can use the graphics card that's already in my computer that's supposedly su supposed to get used, but they out here using like the base graphics card. I, 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 I don't even know why they would do something like that. Have like two graphics cards and it's like, bro, being weird. All right, fine. Playing music. Okay, his guitar has officially dis. Nope, there it is. Nope, now it's gone. Now it's there. Now it's gone. There, gone. There, gone. That man's a magician. Maybe if I nah. I'm gonna have to do it again, freaking, because I think it was very, I think it was very, no. Might have been ultra.
Okay, let's see the man. He still does it. That's weird. This is just a little maintenance work, but yeah, we managed to set up a system of hydropower with parts printed by the 3D lab. But you printed the parts? Damn, her face wow, all in huh? the camera. You should see the stuff Startup was putting together. Hell, they could print much larger designs. Complex machinery, working parts, those kind of things. Really? This tech was invented to make the world accessible to everyone. When Sentinel took over the island, they started printing parts for their deadly drones. It ain't right. Again with this? Look. We already know how you feel. When I saw what they were doing with the program, I left and joined up with the homesteaders. But hey, if you're interested, why not check out the startup? Yeah, where's that at? It's called uh, Polymorph Modeling. It's down in the southeastern part of Smuggler Coves, west of the swamp. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right, now how I leave up out this place again? Exit. Wait, there's still some more stuff I gotta do. Gather it all up, so I ain't gotta keep going back and forth. Are you boys alright or what? Two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. But between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. Can you believe this place, man? know what took out our birds no clue but there are definitely hostiles out there tiny list of troops out there who are calling themselves wolves figure out a somewhat homemade foot pad to wear irritations from the blisters oh that's good that's another thing that you should do is get like some uh well i know like for the military you can't necessarily do that but i guess like for around the house get some slippers It's like there's this sticker on my table. Y'all hear that? Sound like something scraping against a window. Let me stop for I'm not sure I'm getting myself paranoid. entire archipelago overall went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, the choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell. Some Sounds like SpongeBob squeaky, but I know, right? Sentinel. Military contractors, they put this place under martial law. Using the old food that was a solid episode, too. Force. I remember that Scott episode. Still making all the high tech stuff they always make. Except maybe now they're making more weapons. One episode I wish they would show, but I think I think they might have taken that episode off the air, but when they were uh when they were cussing and they had the dolphin noises as like the to the censor it out. His drones are keeping an eye on the silence. Feel like that episode was ahead of its time. I'm just not sure why. Right. Well, we're figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, I see our wounded. Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. Test out the sock padding method, knocking down my 
Very little pain. That's good. Dang. Oh, that's some music. It's like, look how, like, bro, I definitely got to figure out this graphics card thing when I'm done streaming, because I could, I even couldn't even could make out what he was holding. The Weaver. You just relax, bro. We'll take care of it, all right? And the Wasp. Comms blackout. I can't reach the ship. But I'll talk to Matt Schultz, the big guy. He might have a boat I can use. Don't you worry. I'll come back with some help. Go. So is the broadcast having any effect? Some outcast. I think that's all the stuff I had to do here. Actually, now there was more more mission, a couple more missions I had to do. Washington's good. They had that right number rising in Washington. And I'm like, so we good. That's all that I don't care about. This is just crazy, bro. It's like I want to enjoy the game without like the graphics being all weird and stuff. It's like I can't play like that. I'm sorry, but nah, I can't. I can't play it like that. I'm gonna just play um, Power Wash. Do what I can in this game, and then yeah, at some point in time, I'm gonna try to figure out this issue. That's just crazy. And it's like we got like one more, like one percent more thing like hidden.
hungry. I'm gonna get you something to eat. I'm like, I um, I, that's all I do. I don't care how late it is. I'm like, I gotta wake up the family. Guess we all gonna be awake and eating, but. So I can tell that window wasn't looking right. What else? An ancient statue. They're just throwing anything in this game at this point. They're like, we don't care no more. Where is it at? Oh. Two things I hope we don't do tomorrow. One run. Two burpees. Burpees. What's that? Uh, what is what? What, what is that exercise again? Why? Why am I cleaning this? I always like when statues have that tan look to it. It's like, get out of here. No. Like, is not. Nah, statues don't really be looking like this. It's likely 8,000 years old. Why clean it? It looks so nice when it's all tan looking. That's crazy. Go from standing. Push-ups, 
squat thing. Oh, that. Okay. No, I've no, I, I've done that workout. I've done that uh, workout quite a few times. I just don't know the name of it. Because I remember I did that for my workout page on Instagram. And people was all like, it's burpees. I'm like, nobody go around just saying burpees. But I just do I just do exercises. I'm like, I really, you know, if it's like basic names, like push-ups, sit-ups, pull-ups, stuff like that. I'm going to remember. But burpees, I ain't going to remember that. I don't want to do the burpees because one landed on my feet. I have that irritation from the blisters were up. Two, the blisters are by my toe, so the push-ups standing will kind of stretch the spot, causing more pain. Three, I kind of suck at push-ups. Maybe I'm not breathing properly or something, but I was never taught proper form. That was is actually a fun fact about push-ups. That was my punishment uh, as a kid. Like, my dad, like, my mom, she just whooped me. But my dad, like, he he knew, like, that psychological, like, thing would get to my head and stuff. So I can't remember what I did one day, but I did something, and he just had me doing push-ups at, like, random times throughout the day. And I'm like, Dad, my arms, like, they are sore. I can't, I can't do it. He's all like, do the push-ups. And it's just that, like, psychological, like, you know... Like, he's getting to me and things. I'm like, bro, like, you think it's, like, an easy punishment? Like, push-ups? Bro, easy. I was constantly getting told um to... My punishment were sleep standing. You can't sit... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of people um doing that. But yeah, my dad, he just random moments just hey, that's why like anytime I hear somebody say drop down, give me twenty, it's just it's traumatizing. So you just stand there in the dark, facing the corner, contemplating what you did wrong. I know, right? Should I be hit like halfway? Cause as a kid, it's like you're all like, oh okay, cool, chill. Twenty push ups, alright, cool. Then when you haven't done them in a while, then out of nowhere, it's like, I gotta do 20. That's why, like, when people, and they tell me that they can't do 20 push-ups, I'm like, bro, that was a punish. You don't like, you, you had no choice but to do them um, in my household. It's harder with that form. Like they won't even they won't even let you kinda of do like a modified push up where you can like you can be on your knees but have like your feet in the air. I'm like at least like they they should at least like have where you could do that. I'm like that's still a push up, so it's when I feel like it's easy when you have your like knees and feet 
um, on the ground. And I'm like, yeah, you ain't really working out nothing. So you just look like a animal trying to get some food off the ground or something. trying to think i don't think my sister ever got she ever had to do that punishment i honestly don't even know what my sister had to do as a punishment she honestly got she got whooped too but i don't think my dad he ever had her do push-ups Dang, okay, I almost ran off. People try to tell me to keep my elbows tucked into my ribs or balance a broom on my back to keep my posture straight, keep my head facing forward. Some say feet together and some say feet apart. You can do them either way. Like there's there's no like official way of doing a push up. Like you can do them with your feet spread it out and it's like you're still gonna get the same effect. And I guess, like, uh, with the keeping your face, like, forward or head up and things, like, it, I guess it just overall, like, to, um, like, not give you any neck problems when doing them. I don't know. I've, I've done push-ups both with, you know, my head down and with my head up, so... I don't think there's really no official way of doing them, but... I think more so, like, with me, I'm like, if I see somebody putting in the effort to do a push-up, that's all that I feel like that really honestly counts. It's the effort. I feel like, you know, there ain't no... You'll learn to correctly do them. Or it's like just more so. It's because it's kind of like with um, lifting. It's like, yeah, it's like people going to start off light. I feel like with push-ups, it's like, yeah, if you got to do a modified or easier version of a push-up, it's like you're going to work your way up to doing a better push-up. So my thing is, is like if a person's putting in the effort, I'm like, all right, cool. Because I know my dad, like he, he never really it was like oh no i think when me and him would have like our workout sessions i remember he would tell me like how to do certain push or how to do push-ups and some say go down to your chest touches the floor and i'm like you don't need to understand i'm a woman with big chest touch when i hit 45 yeah yeah see that's what it's like i think um i think it's just more so like if you like it just putting in the effort I'm like, if you putting in effort when doing them, I think that's all that matters. Oh, that's the shadow. I was all like, well, maybe that thing's just glitched. That's just the, the background shadow. I just had a moment.
what both my surgeon and my staff surgeon said to not expect to be able to accomplish all workouts because some are going to this training with zero workout experience. It's not about your skill. It's about your determination and commitment to get through. Yeah, it's like like I was saying, effort. You know, you put in the effort to like work out, then they're all like, they'll they'll pay attention more to that than to like, oh, if they're doing it correctly. They're probably like, hey, like, they'll learn eventually. But, yeah, it's like I was saying. It's like with lifting. It's like, you know, you're going to start off lifting, like, what? Maybe, like, like let's say if you bench press and you bench press in, like, 2.5 pounds. And you're going to work your way up to, like, you're able to, like, max out, like, two, 300 or something. It's like you're going to start off small and work your way up. saying it's like the person's putting in the effort they ain't gonna care about um how you do it they're all like can you can you do it like, you do your version of a push-up To be honest, not used to that. See, I grew up having to do it right first time, found it, and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. Doing, yeah, my dad. See, look, it's like I was saying, my dad was like, "Nah, just do it." I'm like, "All right." And then it's just like it didn't even matter like how I was doing it. It was like, bro, my arms was starting to hurt. And I'm like, I can't do it no more, man. Like, do it, then you or he was like, or you gonna get whooped? And I'm like, dang, bro, it's like I got the push-ups and getting whooped. pushing do you give yourself pep talks i've honestly when i'm working out i i listen to like wild type music like i'll listen to like some heavy metal or some like aggressive rap music and stuff that's what honestly what keeps me uh going but that's i think i did say that before i'm like when i'm like even if i'm like outside jogging I jog to an area where I'm like, okay, I got no choice but to go through this area so I can get home. So I'll purposely, like, go all the way out my distance to, like, travel, go, like, five miles and stuff and end up, like, back home and do it like that. But, yeah, I don't think I've ever given myself no pep talk when doing something. It's just more so like adrenaline. I listen to music that seems like a big big middle finger to the world yeah yeah i like i be listening to music i just and working out i just be in my own little world i think that's why a lot of times people they be thinking like something's like because when i listen to music like every even when before i was like so heavily into working out and stuff i always would listen to like mad aggressive music like, listen, there's this one song by this artist named Craig Zinn called Rooted. I would listen to that song, and I'll be having a good day. That's the crazy thing about it. This man, he's rapping about beating people up in the Taco Bell parking lot, and I'm sitting there just getting ready to, like, like especially, like, before um the pandemic and stuff. I'll be heading home just all happy and stuff. It'll be a Friday. Got me some new shoes. And I'm sitting there listening to that song as if I'm, like, mad at the world. And I'm like, I'm I'm fine. And constantly I have people like asking me or messaging me like, hey, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm chilling. 
feel like you just look angry when you was walking home. Yes, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I wasn't angry. I'm only angry if I, when I miss the bus. But I also give myself a pep talk in my head. I started like, come on, I can do this. Get through this. But then I started feeling, need to slow down. Tell yourself you're quitting. You're going to give up easily. See, I feel like if you're telling yourself to slow down, I feel like that's a sign. Like, maybe you do. But I'm like, I, me personally, I'm like, I, you know, I don't over, I don't overdo the workout. I feel like my body is like you know reacting to my workout in a negative way then I'm like nah let me slow it down otherwise I'm gonna have to like flag down one of these cars and tell them like hey yo take me to the hospital real quick slowing down because i get bored i'm like hold on start picking oh yeah if i'm i see that's the thing I, I wouldn't necessarily say like i get bored when i'm working out like what i do when i'm working out is like i start off strong and then kind of just you know once i get to an area that i'm like okay let me like slow down and then just like just be doing that the whole workout I do listen to my body like I did a few jogs when I feel wheeze in my lungs I'm like okay it's a great I don't even get to that point I'm like when um I just feel like my body aching then I just I walk fast and then I get back into jogging I'm in the Wizard of Oz freaking spraying the Tin Man with oil or something. I'm like, bro, got me spray paint. What was, was he really sliding? Bro, my character, he needs some freaking non-slip shoes. Snack. All right, cool.
It's like, where's the birds at? They're absolutely nowhere. Just be hearing random bird noises in this game. I get that other one. I don't build a statue with no arms. It's like, homie. It's like, why you do mans like that? Got some peanut butter and chocolate. Nice, nice. Sounds good. That's shoulder. I just might as well just. I could have sworn I highlighted that one. your favorite kool-aid flavor if you drink kool-aid i honestly i can't remember the last time i drank kool-aid but if i had to say like probably like either grape something like red Spine. Oh, it's been the bad. I was like, Finn spins. What is a Finn spin? Yeah, for me, it's fruit punch or blue raspberry lemonade. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's like I I should I should drink it more, but I'm like I really don't be drinking stuff like that. I'm like I had to say last drink that I just that I got into not too long ago, 
is these uh c4 energy drinks them drinks is so good they got like candy fla like candy flavor so they got like starburst my favorite is skittles i freaking love the skittles flavor i could drink those no problem Interesting. Yeah. Hey, yo, what happened? What was what's that? Oh, nah. What is that? Oh, that's curse. Freaking clean something, then this thing done came to life and started doing some Indiana Jones stuff. They just have me just casually just clean a plane. Yeah, I didn't just clean some statue that came to life. Yeah, that was just, you know, a dream that I had. Now I'm freaking cleaning this. I, I swear, man. I didn't know what that was. I was like, bro, that's it. I'm dead. I thought like I had beat the game or something. I was like, oh, that was it? Like, then I started looking. I was like, no, nah, that's coming from the, no, nah, that statue is alive. That's why that thing was freaking blue underneath. I know they be showing like them like movies and TV shows. They be me messing around with like stuff that's like from the 1800s or for however long ago it was um, made in. But it was like I like there's this one movie I remember watching as a kid, and I'm like, ain't no way. Well, there's a couple of movies where they had some stuff like that going on, but it was this movie called The Hunting with Owen Wilson, and it's honestly it's like. It, it, it's what you would expect Owen Wilson like if he was gonna be in the scary movie it gotta be that movie and then there is the other one House on Haunted Hills I'm like I don't know why people be feeling like they need to mess around with these things I'm like there's no reason for it like leave that stuff alone and even with some like ancient Egyptian stuff like sitting down watching Indiana Jones Temple of Doom I'm like bro he shouldn't have been out there I know like he I think I think he did say wow in that movie too he had his signature on Wilson. Wow. That's another thing that Owen Wilson does. Like when he gets like scared or startled, he tell a person that they need to be careful. He said that in cars and he said that in that movie, uh, The Hunting. He did do one movie where it was a, it was a serious movie. It was about like him saving his uh, family. It was like some stuff had went down when he was taking a vacation somewhere. And he was saving his family. That movie was solid. That was actually a pretty good movie. You know, you don't expect too many times, like, when comedians, and they do serious movies, like, nah, I ain't gonna probably be all that good. Well, he's done quite a few serious movies. He just always has, like, that personality about himself where it's like, you can't really, t he, he's like the comedy in a serious movie. Because he did, uh... Um, Anaconda, that was good. Ice Cube was Ice Cube and Jennifer Lopez is in that movie. I was like, that was one of those movies where it's like, wow. Like, sit down and think about it. That's like, and them guys, they were at their like prime too. With uh, well, Ice Cube, well, Ice Cube, not so much. I feel like his like prime was kind of like closing out, but he still had like you know his name and stuff. Kevin Hart yeah it's like like when he does something see because no Kevin Hart did a serious movie too and that movie was based on a true story but it was like still had like his comedy pers like you know persona and stuff and it was good like no I liked it but it was like the seriousness in the movie I was like oh wow like I think if the story is serious enough I think like the actor can kill the role I think they were like in a, in a good way in a good way more so But I just remember when um, Jim Carrey, he did uh, this movie called The Number 23. And I remember, maybe I just need to watch that movie now. 
but I remember when he did that movie and I was like hey I, I was expecting to laugh in this movie like I, I, I did not I do not care for this movie Yeah, he did that, and I was like, I don't... Or when Ashton Kutcher, he did um, the butterfly effect. Now, I heard that movie was good. I just, I guess I didn't get it, but a lot of people do say that that movie it was like, it was it was okay. I think because they came out with a second one, they said that one was Now, that one wasn't good, but... Ashton Kutcher, he's one of those guys now. You see him doing a lot of serious movies, and he he's doing good. I think he did, like, a Steve Jobs, like, biopic and stuff, and I was like, I didn't see it, but I was like, I'd imagine it was good. It's funny sometimes seeing like actors and they be doing like roles that they just not you know used to doing this. Like I, I think you should have waited on that one. Like that's what you be wanting to tell them sometimes. It's like yeah, you should definitely wait. Like sometimes I do feel like that it, it, if it's escalated like perfect, then I feel like it's good. Cause there's the one. Uh, I don't know if anybody in, um has seen this movie, but it's called Set It Off, and it has Jada Pinkett Smith. Um, Queen Latifah, Vivica A. Fox. It's a solid movie. Like, I don't know if anybody has seen that movie, but that movie is, like, that's a good movie. Because Vivica A. Fox, like, yeah, they... Well, I don't know. Like, Vivica A. Fox, like, she she's done... She, well, I think she's more so. She's done some comedy movies, and she's good at it. Queen Latifah, she started off with, like, comedy. Well, no, she started off with music, but she had a TV show, and it had, like, a lot of comedy to it. Now she's doing this Equalizer show. Jada Pinkin Smith, like, she, she's one of those, like, I think just overall, like, universal, a universal actors. She could do like something serious and then do comedy movies at that. And Will Smith, I know he he's done some serious movies. There's the one movie that he did. I'm like, I personally, I didn't, I don't know. Because I was like, I wanted to see a comedy movie. And I think that's more so why I didn't like that movie. Is because I'm like, fam, like, I, I really snap at my dad today. Oh, really? I'm like, it's, in a matter of time, I think I did say that at some point in time. Like, you're going to reach that point where you just go off on him, so. It was a mild snap. Still, a snap is a snap. Like I said, it don't matter, with, like, the velocity of the snap. Like, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to do something. But it was in a matter of time. I knew it was going to happen. I thought you at least would wait until you was like signed off to the military and stuff. But I'm like, yeah, it's like most likely it's going to be the last time.
But yeah, Will Smith, he did this movie called Seven Pounds, and I was like, I that movie, that movie was questionable. That ain't a movie I'll go out my way to go watch again, but I guess if people like them serious movies, I'm like, then there you go. There's a serious movie for you. I think Carrie, no. No, it's um, Roseo, Roseo Dawson, Rosie, Rosie something, for whatever her name is. He would be loving them like Romeo and Juliet, because that's pretty much what that movie was, like, a Romeo, well, not really, it was, I wouldn't necessarily say it was a Romeo and Juliet movie, but it kind of had, like, that, like, inspiration. What are some other serious movies? I don't like them, like, serious, sad movies. Because I think there's the one movie everybody I kept talking about was that movie, The Notebook. And I was like, oh, let me see what this movie is about. Watched it one night. And I was like, hey, yo. I'm like, why? Who who sit down and watch this? I'm like, because all, all at the end of the day, you just want to do is cry. There's me and the family. I'm like, well, not nah, my dad. He don't really be watching serious movies like that. I have to say, for the most part, me and him, we're we're the main ones in the family that be watching like the action packed movies and stuff. It's like anything that's gonna involve some dope fighting scenes, some explosions, and overall, just you know, a bunch of uh, blood going all over the place. Fake blood. Fake fake blood. Am I missing something like... Oh, it's okay. I thought like this thing was separate. They, I swear, they be having like selective like separation crap in this game.
it's annoying when you think it's clean and you spam tab and it's like spray the whole thing exactly no it's like or no because like the the thing is is that i thought this was separate from this i thought this red part was separate because like no every other time it'll be like they'll they'll have it where it'll be separate and then it's like you get stuck on it. it's like fam what's going on it's like oh it's not separate it's all connected with each other oh okay that makes sense I seen, no, uh, it was funny. I seen a basketball hoop the other day and just immediately started thinking of this game. I'm like, bro, I should get a pressure washer and just pressure wash that basketball hoop. Like, whoever lives in that house, they're going to be like, sir, what are you doing? I'm like, don't worry. It's like, you'll thank me. So I started selecting what I was going to clean. Yeah. Pretty sure gonna have an ando. I uh, guess not. Am I going crazy? Like, what the... Oh. There we go.
My goodness. Oh, did I complete? Wow, I completed. I, bro, I beat the game. Wow. I was all like, fam, who up? Well, was like, why do I have all these jobs? Dang, that's crazy. Well, there goes that. That's the last mission. How come it wouldn't? Why wouldn't they not have it where the ancient um place was the last mission? They gonna have it where a uh, stunt plane is the um last mission. They keep making more. Oh, do they? Did you do the the roaster? Rover? Rover, rover, rover. Mushroom, temples, uh, action firehouse tree. Motorcycle, side SUV, dirt, golf cart, forest, guy fire, car, skate park, fire stand, vintage car, shoe playground, bungalow van. Now, I don't think I did nothing with no rover. Oh, that? The special? Oh, okay. Huh. Wait, did they? They took away my. They took away my uh my my go-to uh pressure washer. That's messed up. Behind the scenes of the Martian. That challenges that make it so you can use certain amount of water. I'll oh, see, yeah. No, I'm just gonna freaking take what I can, and after that, I'm like, no, nah, I'm done. I ain't gonna sit here and go and challenge myself. Be trying to run out of water, and I gotta do it all over again. I'm like, I'm good.
I feel like this definitely would damage it. Like, I feel like this ain't safe. Yo, whose footprints is these? Hold on. Oh, nah, we gotta get up out of here. We, we gotta get up out of here. You gotta clean the artifact. That's why the footprints is around? Cause I gotta clean something? I'm like, nah, that ain't normal. It's like something out here trying to kill me. That's what's trying to happen. Mystery hatch. Mystery hatch. What? Oh, that's crazy. Is it this? this huh Dang, that's it, I guess. Yeah, 
it was just cleaning that. All right, well, I guess there's that. Um, yeah, I don't even know what other games I want to play, so I think I'm going to just go ahead, call it a day with this stream. I don't know when the next update will be for levels. Hopefully it's uh, something. But if not, I ain't chirping about it. See who I can raid. Are they live? Nope, they hosting somebody. They be like every like times I be wanting to raid people and it's all like ain't even nobody online. If it is, it's like people that got like a crap ton more uh viewers than I do, but either way. Uh just find somebody. Oh, she just, she must have just got raided. All right, I think I'm going to raid my friend, uh, Cozy. Show some love to their stream. She's playing Apex right now. She be playing Apex a lot. I'm like, that's one person. I'm like, I don't think there has ever been a time where I've seen her playing something else. And if she has, I'm like, it's just, you know, she always playing Apex. It's chill, though. It's cool to find a game you can just sit down and just play a lot of. These ads be so off. And they showing like an ad of like some like people like streamers promoting Uber Eats. I feel like I'm just not like I'll forget my lines. But anyways, moving on. Um, But no, thank you everybody that stopped by tonight's stream. Stay tuned for the next stream. Thank you everybody that showed up. Uh, Lurks, all that stuff. And peace.